Hey. We are starting another stream, and today we are back to playing Final Fantasy VII. Hello friends, welcome! Kermes is here, amazing! Uh, before I dive in, I have a really quick question. The game is presenting me with a choice. I can take- I have to get to the 65th floor, and I can take the stairs, or I can take the elevator. A part of me wants to take the elevator because I feel like it's a trick, and my curiosity is just- yeah, this is why I'd be a cat, I feel like, because my curiosity is too strong. Welcome everybody! On our last stream we talked about total shifts and why they're so important for stories, right? Hello, Avalon. I'm curious to see what else we can learn as we continue this game. Hello, Mystical Wolf. Mystical Wolf. I feel like taking the elevator is totally a trap. Hello, sleep is most important. I totally agree with your username. More security and restrictions. It's not going to get any easier. The Mango Master. I knew it! I knew it! We shouldn't have taken the elevator! Don't get me wrong, I'm so glad we took the elevator though. I'm gonna change my settings. CD triple slash. Nice. How's everybody in chat doing today? Enough is always such an intimidation flex to me. Oh, you're gonna love the ending of Act 2 then. Of Epic. That's good to hear, Mr. Gold. Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? No. We took him down quick. I mean I would have anyway. <laughs> Because it's epic. I appreciate you. Can't wait for the Act 2 of Epic. I stop again. am very excited for you guys to hear Act 2 of Epic. I'm doing well. How are you? You're so nice. Thank you. I'm doing alright. Thank you so much. That didn't take long, did it? I feel like we're approaching the climax of this game, and I'm very excited to see what happens. I might be totally wrong, though, because my PlayStation is telling me I'm only... that my progress is only 40%, so I'm not really sure. Give me a break. Look at that. Let's go. Hello, Nicaragua. I'm enjoying this game too. Up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mention it, no. Now I'm very curious to see what would have happened if I had taken the stairs. I feel like it would have been... What is... Hey guys, should I be Cloud for Halloween? I'm totally kidding. By the way, <laughs> no! She probably called for help. I think this is so funny. If I had taken the stairs, I probably wouldn't have. You remember taking the stairs? What happens if you take the stairs? Do you just have no fighting? Yeah. Yeah. We're safe here. What about you, Mom? You okay? <laughs> what? Oh, they gotta be kidding. Going out. Doors closing. No. We haven't heard anything new. That yet. made into a bleached brillo pack. Attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, okay? Yeah. About that. I know I keep bringing this up, but I think a really interesting thing is that both sides of this story. 
Oh, actually, I take it back. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but it's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. Here's philosophical beliefs. This he is great. Recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. This is great. This is why we watch stories. I know you know this. I do. Tifa, we need to focus on saving Aerith. Barrett is a hundred percent on the side of ruthlessness, right? So what happens if I had gone through the stairs? Would it just have been like a lot of funny stuff? 80, 90, 100%, 110. Mako super saturation confirmed. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> cooling to reduce temperature. You know, worked out your glutes at least. <laughs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. You walk up a lot and see how the characters react to walking up them, so I'm guessing there would be no fighting. Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. It's funny. Registering mass increase in core materia. <laughs> Sounds funny. <sighs> I know who this lady is, but I hope I fight her. So I feel like I won't. Exquisite. But again, a lot of the time, the reason that we relate to stories is because of what the characters believe. And so, seeing Tifa be reluctant to attack Shinra because she recognizes that there are just people here trying to feed their families, that brings up a really interesting point. And then having Barrett be like, it doesn't matter, we gotta do this anyways. It's fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I so playing? This is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61. Hey! 62, I love that you use the Odysseus of You will proceed in that order. It's so the way I don't know Final Fantasy like that, but I could tell who the character is from that sentence. 100%. That's the thing, even if you don't remember a character's name, like, let's let's talk about that really quick, right? Because a couple days ago we were playing, uh, what were we playing? Control, right? And a big point that I was making was that the side characters in that game, and honestly maybe even the main character, I don't really know what any of them believes. I don't know what they feel about certain issues they're just kind of saying stuff and guiding us or saying okay now you got to go to this next place whereas i feel like i have a much greater sense of who these characters are we know what barrett believes in we know what he wants and we know how he handles the situation right uh even when there is that side not side quest even there, when there was that section of the game where you were playing as barrett alone he literally made a path through by breaking walls right that's so that's so essential to his character and him believing that the ends do justify the means is very important to the story that really undermines any attempt to get us invested in their motivation when you don't know their personal compasses exactly exactly and control the side characters are just they could all be the same character for all i know you know whereas if you had removed the skin and the outfit uh then i would just not know who it is and the voice difference, whereas here, if you were to put each of these characters alone in certain situations, I, I have a greater understanding of them, and so I feel more confident in predicting what the outcome of said situation would be if the character was in charge of handling it. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? 
<laughs> if it is, then bring it on. The difference between a character and a bot, really, a hundred percent. And there are other characters in, the, in this game that, you know, you don't necessarily know what their beliefs are, but the point is that the characters that we focus on, we get a very clear sense of what they believe and what they do, and who are these guys? I thought nobody's questioning. I guess Shinra is full of soldiers, so... This is Shinra HQ. How did you expect? Says the former company man Very Shinra bad. See if I can see where they're coming from. Cloud Air? It's like coming. Barrett is sassy, yes. 100%. Every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. And what's really cool, too, is that this doesn't just apply to our main characters. Uh, the people on the antagonist side, or I keep calling the antagonist, let's just call them Shinra and Avalanche, right? So the people on Shinra's side, even though we don't spend as much time with them, we get a few glimpses into their inner workings, and we do see scenes where there are characters who are reluctant to carry out some of their more intense plans. I don't remember if it was this specific character that they're presenting to us now, but earlier in a scene, um, they make a big deal to show you that this specific character does not believe that those ends justify the means. And so the bombing of react of Sector 7 is a very important part of the story because it shows just how great the lengths that Shinra will take are um, in order to achieve their ultimate goal. Villains that exhibit the human element are the best. Cut and dry lacks flavor and texture every time. I 100% agree. Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I think this is the guy who was reluctant to do. Yeah. Sector seven, you requested. And they they remind us by giving him a, a, a damage assessment, right? In case we forgot who this guy is. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. Whatever reasons they might. Hey, have. how's it going, Design Nation? Destroying an entire sector is it's beyond the pale. Director. I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it? That's great. That's great. It shows that the situation is not black and white on either side. I think it would be even more interesting if they really tried to see how far they could go with um, Barrett being all ends justify the means, right? That was great. You can see the conflict and that completely supports the conflict you were trying to build in the PCs. Yes. Very obvious bad guy character. Welcome to the Shinra building. That's the only thing. I think they could make it even more morally gray. But I think they don't want us to antagonize Barrett, and so that's why they don't do it. But I would argue that that would make things more interesting, right? The city of Makar and the miracle of Mako energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up. But also, that's not really necessary. That's just my personal take. I think I just threw up a little. I think it's more interesting when you uh, create very morally great characters, or present a character with a noble goal, and then have them take very intense measures towards reaching that goal. Let me out of this room. Do I not get to leave this room? It's not necessary, but it's definitely a component in certain genres. Yeah, especially things like The Walking Dead, 
Uh, especially, or like, hell, epic, you know? Act 2 is gonna make you question everybody. Oh, was I supposed to be paying attention to the to the screen? This is boring. These all look so familiar. Cause we've destroyed a bunch of them already. That room represents Kotsil's Island right now, right? <laughs> What I will say, as much as I'm annoyed by the game forcing me to stay in this room and watch this uh, commercial, is it does highlight how Shinra justifies their actions, right? To them, sucking the life force out of the planet allows them to create a thriving society. Oh, it only says bits when it's bits icon. It changes based on the icon used when sending bits. Thank you for sending bits, though! Morally gray depends on the context to interest me. That's totally fair. This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako Lord Rangers of the Rings does well without it, I think. Yeah, I agree. I think there are certain stories that it's pretty uh, beneficial to it to have a clear light and dark. Like, I think that, or I think of uh, early Star Wars, or I think of... Um, uh, Legend of Zelda, Harry Potter. Into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to villains and noble goals, like all the Naruto villains. Our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. This is great. This is a great conversation. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. This is great. I'm enjoying this. Cloud, for the most part, is, uh... Well, let's see. Because Tifa is very reluctant to do the thing. Cloud just kind of goes along with stuff. And Barrett is very much, um... Pro-Destroy Shinra. Well, I saw Kingdom Hearts comic. Kingdom Hearts did well without it, but they went the morally gray direction later on, which did well, too. I would actually argue that Kingdom Hearts... Ooh, that's a... That's not even a spicy take that I'm about to say. I, I actually think Kingdom Hearts did better without the uh, moral gray. Does that make Barrett the protagonist? I'm not sure. A proud Shinra scholar. Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science. My understanding of the word protagonist has Please changed throughout the last few weeks. First floor, the visual entertainment hall. Welcome to the visual entertainment hall where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology through an immersive visual Okay, I will say Please relax and enjoy These the show. uh Yeah, I could elaborate. Well, I kind of just always use the word um protagonist interchangeably with main character, uh, but it's been brought to my understanding that that is not the case. So I think, I, need, I, think I, I personally need to go back and read a bit more before I put my foot in my mouth, you know? Oh, this looks like in Kingdom Hearts 2, the place where they wake rocks this up. Sorry, random thing. Oh no, just exactly that. I've been using protagonist and uh, main character interchangeably 
Um, apparently that's not always the case. Actually, wait, Zappa, I think it was you who told me that. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, this looks gorgeous. This is gorgeous! In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Who are the Ancients? Before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. Don't get me wrong, this is a cool reveal, but why does Shinra have that for themselves? The ancients developed the means or I guess, I don't know. this powerful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. This capitalism. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Wait, what's that Some third summon? I don't have that dragon. Shall we one day return? By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. Two thousand years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. Sure thing, Saffron. I'd love to. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green inverted land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Is that it? That was... Oh dear. Okay. I'll digest that really quick. A couple of things. One. Um, I'm still unsure how I feel about that specific exposition dump. Usually I feel like if you're going to give an ex a big exposition dump like that, it should be something that completely changes things, right? Um, Whereas I feel like our situation is still the same. Uh, like now we know, okay, there were the ancients and they're trying to to be with the, they're essentially trying to emulate the ancients, but in modern day times with the modern day technology. But we're still doing the same thing, you know? It's not a piece of information that completely changes uh, our trajectory. Well, the ancients is a way overused moniker, so that weakens my investment a lot. That too. You know? A man of my refined taste running out of butter. 
Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke, and not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Uh, but yeah, something I was trying to say earlier was I feel like Kingdom Hearts one, uh, or just Kingdom Hearts was better off when it was simpler. Uh, story-wise, like the first Kingdom Hearts, I feel like the story, that's all you needed, you know? What the? What the heck? Greetings and welcome. Avalanche, I presume. Story could have ended there. Yep. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I would love to write a Kingdom Hearts uh, story, just completely reboot it, you know? I love Kingdom Hearts 2 gameplay-wise, I love the simplicity of Kingdom Hearts 1 story. Yes, the mayor of our dear Midgar. But having two keyblades is amazing. Built that mayor domino. The visual entertainment hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. I love the dynamic between Ventus and Vanitas. You can keep all that without making the story uh, unnecessarily confusing. I like Vanitas and Ventus too. I think things just get confusing with all the time traveling and the one million versions of the same character. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Yeah, it's just—it's so convoluted. It's hard to like. I can't. I genuinely can't explain it to people. Like the complete plot. Look at this place. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? <sighs> This is interesting because now even Barrett is happy is having a moment where he is surprised that the entire Shinra building isn't what he thought it would be. The music is peaceful. It's all that's here is just books and not labs and life, the uh, planet sucking technology. They're being greeted peacefully for once, instead of with, you know, guns to their faces. Bear probably thought she was illiterate. Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? The mayor is waiting. Hmm. They're trying to bring it back to aggression. <sighs> Saw the Hermes vid recently, awesome stuff. Thank you so much! Yeah, Troy's great. I'm so glad that I got this to show you guys him. Right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <sighs> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Xanor? Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Troy is so great. I love that guy. He's so fun. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times. Walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. You hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. Uh, hmm. 
I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things... I actually thought it was going to go the other way. I thought it was uh, that they were purposefully what? making it too Why? easy to get to, uh, to get the 65th floor so that it was all a trap. We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the president's going to get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Hmm. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing, so long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian. Nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Like the mayor from Deep Nightmare breaths. Before Christmas. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! <laughs> Am I supposed to remember all this? Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? Okay, I might change my mind if in the future this specific character has a very integral role uh, to the plot, but... I feel like a lot of times, uh, man, I feel like I, I feel like I sound like I'm hating on this game, and I'm not. I really like this game. Uh, but a part of me was like, the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. Sorry, I was trying to see if anything that they said would change my mind. Um. I think I'm just more confused right now than anything. I love Final Fantasy. Have a good night. Oh my gosh, Drogo, thank you so much for being here. Oh, that's not it. One of these is going to say Mayor is the best. Kristen tells me you like it. I'm more opinionated on the things I like. Yeah, I, that's true. Mayor explosive? Uh, but yeah, part of me just kind of is like, what was the point of... Was it upstairs? Oh, not there. Guess who's lost again? But yeah, that's the other thing. Um, I think a lot of times it's easy to just want to add many, many characters. Uh, several of which might have the same belief, but... 
if you find yourself in a situation where you're having like several characters that have the exact same belief and they kind of are just doing the same thing and it's taking up time and space, you it's not necessarily a bad option to just um, it's not necessarily a bad option to just cut one of them and install yeah. any additional yeah. things install any additional things into the remaining character. Man, where am I supposed to? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, which is to say that that which has- You want money! Disclosing confidential in this particular ins- Rip us off more! The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fast. Follow the map. That makes sense. This individual. Likes but I think the map is telling me um to where I want to end up, but it's not telling me which of the robots that really all you is got, the correct one. Ooh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Huh? An expression of my gratitude. Huh. That's better. Look, oh, a new weapon. Where's the EKG cannon? Love his dialogue though, yeah. Okay, let's just try following the map. I might be totally wrong on that. Six nice at least. We're going back to ask this guy. If you think you've found the collaborator, say Mayor and see if he says the best. You got it now? Okay, well, I knew that already. The calm music breaks it up a bit, so it's nice. I agree, though I'm kind of uh, already tired of the library. I want to get back to. I want to get back to the fighting. Mayor, very bad. Huh? Very bad. Is it this one? It's not that one. Oh my gosh, where is the... Mambo, exploded. Yeah. Oh, I know. I love libraries. I'm just, uh, I feel like I'm trapped in this one here. I'm stuck on the on this of all levels. I think it's the one above, but I'm not too sure. Let's try it. If I don't get this next one right, can somebody in chat Google it? <laughs> which which collaborator? Mambo 
librarians are the coolest people ever. Uh, I, I miss my high school librarian. She was so nice. She actually uh, got the ending of my favorite trilogy for me to read. Okay, well, it's definitely not that one. Oh my gosh. Also, chat, what other games would you like to see me play? Because lately I've just been... Lately I've just been playing games that interest me, but... You know, we can always see what uh, new things we can learn as we... As we try different games. love for you to play Journey. You know, I might just pick that one up, because a lot of people are telling me that one. Um, which robot is the right one? Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't even need about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed. I'd happily play a horror game. To pursue my great work. Our Stray? Work, my dear. I'll consider it. I can't believe this whole time all I had to do is go upstairs. You're spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. I'm here to give exposition. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Oh, that's... Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? All right, that's like creepy. Catalog every last bit of her. And infuriating. Her skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, if Valna was elegance, right down to her cellular. Yeah, the predatory body language, but also just the fact that, like, they continued analyzing her mom even after she was dead, and so there was no, like, remains or anything, like... Yeah, I really want to kick his butt. Um... For yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Like, desecrating her corpse kind of thing? Like, that's... Wow. <laughs> Exactly. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. I thought we just skipped all that. Okay, we are on the 64th floor. Oh, now I see what he was trying to say. We have to go back down there and talk to people there and just see which one is like the best god it's nice now I feel like moments like this and okay here's the thing here's the thing that I've noticed in so many games and I don't know why it happens I imagine that there's like a certain minimum runtime that games need to have now in order to be uh, feature-length games but 
it is better to have something that is in my personal opinion, it is better to have something that is short but done so well, right? Like little nightmares than to have, you know, a lot of like artificial time wasters or time consumers kind of thing. Um Avalanche must have used some heavy duty explosives to do that kind of damage. And I feel like there's a lot of times where this game just kind of pads the runtime by having us do random stuff. Not to say that side quests aren't fun, but I'm more talking about uh, I actually didn't show you guys this on stream because it was so annoying to play through. Uh, there was a part where Tifa had to like parkour through these la the chandeliers and stuff, and that sounds very exciting on paper, but it was very slow paced and it was wonky controls and it just took forever. And I was like, I'm not having fun. The Hobbit suffered because of that in film and in cooking shows. Getting too complicated will kill you. One less thing to worry about. Yeah, literally, it's you know, I'd rather the game is ten hours long and it's absolutely perfect. Hi, Doomsday. And yeah, I'd rather. There's a lot of times where you just you don't need it, and it, the same applies to stories, right? How many movies have you seen that you're like, oh, this could have been shorter? If you were to take out all the fluff and just keep. All of the great uh, parts. Quick question, are you still able to watch Act 1 still? Act 1 of Epic? I don't know if... Uh, I don't think Act 1 is available at all yet. Where are you, Mr. How's the stream going? I'm going well. It's going well. Yeah, Act 1 isn't released yet. Uh, we're going to release the first five songs hopefully by the end of this year. So that would be the first saga, not the first act. Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security, who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged And then the discourse server will go fair. Oh, okay, I got weird ahead myself. No, that was totally fine, you know? I, I'll see if I can post a video uh, in a few days, just giving everybody an update of the current plans and stuff. and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? I'm evil. You cowardly dogs. Run all you I like. Think Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wutai is going to attack us again? We should be so okay, I gotta find this person. I'm so excited for Epic, but I know I need to read the Odyssey to understand it more. <laughs> Combat Sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. I recommend the Odyssey, uh, regardless of whether you watch Epic or not. But I would actually say you. Ah, uh, that's a hot take because I don't want I don't want people to think I'm saying don't read the Odyssey. I I recommend everybody read the Odyssey. However, I don't think it's necessary to have read the Odyssey to watch Epic. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. We can provide a real Ooh, challenge. Ooh, a challenge! Yes, what other the characters sim. do you plan to do auditions for? Probably yours. Antinous and Telemachus, I feel like, might be the... Might be the final auditions after we find uh, Tiresias and Hera. Well, well. You gonna call it quits? Speaking of auditions, does it matter if you don't have a professional mic? Oh, you don't. Oh my gosh, wait, let me pause really quick to say. Oh, okay, it's already paused. Um, no, you do not need a professional mic at all. We've had people send auditions a cappella. Right? Like, just. We've had people send voice memos. Um, people sending not even videos, just like uh, just audio, right? So, you know, you do not need a mic. You do not need anything. As long as we can hear your voice, that's all we need. Sound good? Sorry, I feel like when I said that, I sounded very serious. I was uh, My intention is to be uplifting with that. Uh, no, you don't need a mic at all. You don't need anything. We just need to be able to hear your voice. I got you. And pretty much any other audition, there are so many para parameters to meet. Oh, yeah, I totally understand, but you don't need a... Cheers, <laughs> thank you, Doomsday, for the cheers. 
Oh yeah, but for these auditions, it re like, I know the stress that comes with auditions, and it's, you know, it's not fun. I've been in several auditions that just stress me out too much. I want this to be a fun experience for everybody. Um, so many amazing hit auditions out there already. Yeah, so many great people. But yeah, I really want this to be like a fun experience for people. I've been in stressful auditions, and it's not fun. Team go. Any other epic questions you guys want me to answer? Not bad. Oh, so easy. I guess point blank. Or he's the go for making auditions fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are very kind. Do you plan to do a full tour of Epic? Um. Sorry, I don't know why I blanked on that. I would love for Epic to tour everywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking about something Final Fantasy. Uh, what characters haven't been casted yet? Uh, Tiresias, Hera, Antinous, and Telemachus. As of as of me saying this, have not been cast. All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Will Epic ever come yeah. to place like the UK? This card will grant you access to the 64th floor. Yeah. You can use the elevator to get there. Yeah, I was gonna say Don't something like, uh, "Oh, I really hope so." Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to make sure that we in some way everybody gets friends. to see Epic. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. Manifest exactly. To to access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel. We'll find a way in. A board meeting is scheduled. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hogan. Think they like surprises? Chat, how long is the streaming going? The president is a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find I may have a chance. I'm so excited. Yeah! So you want to spy on their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. 53, thank you. New content has been added to the... Oh. I can't see what it's saying. Uh, do you think you'd want to do a backstage type tickets like concerts? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that depends partly on like the theater that we do with that uh, and the team there, but I'd be super interested for stuff like that. You can win rewards only available here. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are restored after each fight. Ooh. Wait, I want to do more challenges. Cloud, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> what is this you kid? forgotten me, have you? I'm an I took the liberty of hacking into the <laughs> private network to monitor your progress. I will support you and I sense a surge in trust. We should keep this brief to avoid suspicion. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> this is so funny. To receiving all of your future battle intel I want to fight more. I want to fight more things. Tell me there are more challenges. Give me an actual challenge. I sense a surge of discomfort if you saw me here. Okay, well, it looks like we're taking a break from story stuff just to kick some butt. Must be so fun to write for these things. I would love to write the plot for a video game, especially like like Kingdom Hearts. Uh, but I don't think I don't think that's a thing that happens. I feel like they're very particular about their teams. Um, but I would love to just do like a complete reboot, right? Not reboot, but like 
takes place somewhere else, totally different cast of characters. Maybe Sora's in it, but I would just I would take out all of the confusion. It'd be very simple and enjoyable. The blurbs are making me want to get back into it. I forgot how fun it was. Oh my gosh. I'm enjoying the... Alicia's blurbs. Are we going to get an epic video game, King? I would love to make an epic video game. Uh, the hard part about an epic video game is finding out how you could... Um, incorporate the aspects we like of Epic, so like the songs, I guess, but also incorporate into a video game, because remember, Epic was written to be a musical, uh, but it's inspired by the video game aspects. The Cage team will be begging for your help. Oh my gosh, I would... Can you imagine if this one day they were like, all right, you can just write a whole Kingdom Hearts story. And I'll do like a fanfic if I'm... Oh my gosh. Alright, that was actually pretty hard. Let's do it right. Loki would argue that. <laughs> Except for the whole fiction versus reality thing. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't even know what's going on there. No holding back. It's gonna attack me. Feel it. Da 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 da. Oh yeah yeah. Also, I don't know why my uh, flame is on fire, but I love it. It looks so badass. Here we go. Okay, now I'm having less fun. Oh, thank you so much for being here, Nina. You're done. I love that dodging and I didn't even dodge it. No holding back. Calling fire. Oh, that's what Reflect does, of course. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Kill yourself, darn it! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I straight up almost died there. I'm so salty at this game. Why is this thing so hard to kill? Oh 
I've yet to play this remake, been waiting to release on Xbox. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, except I do think that sometimes, uh, there's a lot of just random events. Oh no, get out of there. Oh my gosh, no, I'm dead. Oh, but what if I use my limit? Can I end this now? You gotta understand the frustration I'm, I'm feeling right now <laughs> for that. Let's try that again. We are so close to beating this stupid ghost. Oh, it's a phantom. No holding back. No escape. Well, figures it would end like this. <laughs> of course it reflected it back at me. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well that's a funny way to end the stream. With a massive L. Alright, that is the thought mind. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this will be a, funny, a fun place to end the stream for today. I just want to compliment both your vocal and facial control. You're incredibly good at it. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very kind. Spoke too soon, it seems. I thought I had it. I really thought the fire was going to end it, but it ended me. Uh, what did we learn today? Stories are more interesting when characters have philosophical beliefs. And this isn't the first time you're going to hear me talking about this, and this is not going to be the last time. Uh, you're going to hear me talking about about this. Um, it's the times where I'm most engaged with the story is when I understand what the characters are believing and what they're doing to achieve their goals and what they do in relation to those beliefs, right? Uh, and we talked about this on earlier streams, right? Bear is very much the ends justify the means, uh, and Tifa is a lot more compassionate for the opposing side. Good night, King. Good night, everyone. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to eat and hydrate. Thank you so much. You're still the best Mango Master. You're so kind. Thank you. But yeah, just keep that in mind when you're writing your stories. And if you can add moral, moral ambiguity is not a necessity in stories, uh, but it, it can be really great depending on the type of genre that you're diving into. It can be great for making a story more intriguing, especially if you make the main players morally ambiguous. So the main character and the antagonist. Uh, yeah. All right, never use Reflect when close to dying, yeah. Also, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all, and uh, I'll see if I can do another stream tomorrow. Good night.